What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be extremely easy for me. Probably the easiest video that I've done because I'm not going to be doing any of the work. Kev here is going to be doing all the work. Kev, what are you going to be doing today? So I'm doing a little restoration on the grills that I have on my Mustang. Of course, they have been faded because of the sun and the fucking environment. I'm going to paint them and I'll put some coat on it so it can stay black and shiny. And I'll have to deal with it. And yeah. 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 Missing bolts. So there's nothing... Uh, Nothing holding that there. Nope. I'm missing some of the side marker light thingies right here. Mm hmm. So, they're also held together by fate. This one. I just went to get a monster and I missed it. Is it. The thing just fell. What was holding it up? Was it just sitting on this? Yeah, it was sitting on the fucking, uh, on the side one. On yeah. the side freaking bolt that I forgot to screw. And I did. Yes, face so was it holding just, it. It just fell. Oh, what's the monster? <laughs> the important stuff. I like the amount of water that was in the bumper. There's something definitely missing here, right in this general area. If you guys know what it is, comment down below. Yeah, there's definitely something missing here. It would help so much if I had a trim tool. You know we have some, right? I don't need any more. I will say though, we are pr moving pretty quickly. Yeah. It kind of helped that your bumper fell off for you. Yeah. You didn't have to take it off yourself. I'm telling you, gravity helps a lot. Gravity, yeah. yeah. Best friend. Until it's not. Until, yeah, until it's not. Then it's too late. Yeah. But that's not your problem anymore. What is that? It looks like glue. Okay, I could have just done that. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Pretty much, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mask all the areas I don't wanna get paint on. Clearly, this fucking chrome. That's pretty much the only thing I'm gonna mask off, because in the other one, it's all plastic. I don't care about masking anything. I'm just gonna fucking send it, and hopefully none of the paint goes into the fucking crumb. This crumb is dirty. What the fuck? I can't get a clean piece of fucking masking tape. One thing I'm gonna do before painting is prepping it. Well, prepping the areas I'm gonna paint on. So they're like fucking dirt and dust from fucking wind blowing. Of course, it's not the perfect area to spray paint at all, but I don't really have anywhere else. But yeah, you can see clearly the areas I'm trying to like get rid of. Like right here, you can see it's very like grayish. And it, it just don't look good. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. So one thing I usually do when it comes to plastic parts, I paint them and I clear coat them so that way they can stay look newish for a very long time. One golden rule that I usually do when it comes to spray painting anything is test out the spray pattern, the angles, and things like that. Because you don't want to overspray, you don't want to fucking have puddles and all that. So you just want to test it out before you even do anything. So you're going to do one little pass at a certain distance and you see how too much bubble up down here you don't want that so you gotta control your speed and your distance so i'm gonna go a little bit further away that looks better now of course depending on the situation you're on you might want to do it closer but you're gonna have to go faster like like such but that depends every spray can is different but you just gotta test it out before you do anything that way you have enough on there and you don't fucking over spray create puddles like this because then that's gonna be a pain in the ass and you gotta fucking sand it and you're making yourself more work than you you don't want to do. I'm gonna lie, I'm kinda of nervous painting this because I don't wanna fuck it up, but at the same time, I really wanna do this. plastic but you know what I need a clear fucking coat so we're gonna use this also I chose the satin one because I don't want something glossy on my grill because my car's already gloss as it is so that kind of adds a little spice done with this fucking uh, lower grill I had like 17 coats by accident the upper grill is drying over there 
super simple. I'm just gonna add probably two coats of this and that should be all. Then let it dry, put it back in the fucking bumper, put the bumper in the car, call it a day. Crazy day. In a couple of hours, we let the freaking uh, clear coat and the paint, all everything cure. It's the same way we took it off. We're gonna put the uh, upper one first and the lower one, and we're just gonna put the bumper back. Easy day. Yep. Just double check. Yep. It's another one. It smells like a print paint. Nice. So today we fucking restored the plastic trim that was on my freaking mom Mustang. So the grill and the lower grill and kinda also painted the freaking uh, mesh that's on the bottom. I used fucking gloss black to get on top of all those little corners and make it look nice and fucking glossy and then I used a little satin because I don't want it too glossy so I used a little satin clear coat to protect the paint so that way yes and get this color this plastic I don't like how this looks I'm gonna be switching this fog light soon. This is not it. And I just don't like it. I'm going for a murder out look and the fact that it looks light gray in certain areas because of the plastic and because of the sun and all that, I don't like it. So I did that. I think I'm a pretty decent. Some little setbacks along the way. I dropped the bumper by accident. But we're not gonna talk about that. I don't know, I think I did a pretty decent job with just spray cans. Nothing professional, it's something that you can go to a store and buy for like 10 bucks. So that's the result.